This isn't funny, Amber. Would you like to play a game, Tara? Three attacks so far. Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott. Of course I have a gun. Something about this one just feels different. Samantha? I'm... I know who you are. I've been through this. A lot. This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is gonna keep coming for you. You ready? For this? Never. There are certain rules to surviving. The attacks were all on people related to the original killers. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. And I won't sleep until he's in the ground. Hello everybody, <clears throat> and welcome to my movie review for Scream, which is technically Scream 5. So, uh, before we get into this review, it, is, it will be a non-spoiler for the most part review. I will let you know 110% before I start talking about any sort of spoilers, but I can promise you I will not reveal who the killer or killers are in this film. Um, and in this review, haha, <laughs> I'm the killer. I'm kidding. Anyway, I will not re uh, reveal anything about that. But before we get into anything, you should be aware that if you have not seen Scream 1, 2, 3, or 4, there could be spoilers for those four films in this review. Uh, this is not a reboot. This is technically a sequel. Kind of both. Kind of, kind of, kind of. So anyway, sorry. I paused it for a second. I couldn't figure out how to unpause it. Um, this film takes place 25 years after the original series of murders in Woodsboro. A new ghost face emerges and Sidney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. That is a very, very basic description of this movie. Um, now, before we get into any sort of review for this film, I have one question for you all. Do you like scary movies? What's your favorite scary movie? That is a real good question, isn't it? Well, this film might have that answer. They really like referencing other other films that have definitely made an impact in the horror genre of recent years, like The Babadook. So I moved the chair as I said Babadook. Um, Child's Play. I mean, they've they've named a whole bunch of stuff in this. Um, this is definitely, I think, the closest thing that has happened to a Scream movie. Now, the promotional material. Uh, there's two real big promotional materials I've seen. There was the standee, which says, It's always someone you know, which is also on some digital promotional material. And the poster where it has Ghostface in the background and pretty much the entire cast. Uh, in it and it says the killer is on this poster if I can remember I will put them up on screen but we will see what happens um, so yes this is this is a pretty good film um, I have a couple of griefs with it but I feel like for not being directed by the same as the past four 
because again, um, Wes Craven directed these, and he, of course, yeah, is not with us anymore. Um, but yeah, so this this movie is well made. It feels like a screen movie to me. Now, if you have not seen the other ones, know that this franchise kind of makes fun of itself. This movie is definitely not... It still follows that 100%. Um, they follow the horror tropes at the same time as breaking the horror tropes, and they make it very well known. And honestly, it's quite fun. It's quite fun and quite funny how they handle some of these things in this movie. Um, the recurring actors are great, and the um, new actors and actresses are all great. But I do wish some of the characters had lasted longer than they did in the movie. Um, that's one of the griefs I have is just, I mean, you know, some characters have to go. Like, that's the bottom line. Some characters have to go, and I wish that it was some of the different ones at different points. And some of them, mainly because I like certain actors and actresses, I wish that some of them would have lasted longer than they did. Um, but that is what it is. Um, <laughs> it was really good. I enjoyed it. There was 100% sequences you were like, no, 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 don't do that. Do not do that. You are in a scary movie. And sometimes the characters knew not to do that, which is always refreshing. And that's something that a screen movie can do, which other movies can't. And then there were some points where the characters still did the stupid things. Which, you know, sorry about the yawn, uh, which, you know, is definitely <laughs> annoying. But I, uh, sorry. I was looking at a paper. I'm getting distracted. Um, sorry, movie that too. I, lots of things are going on, just like this movie. Ha <laughs> ha. Segway. No, it's hard to talk about this movie without talking about particular characters and particular sequences in this movie. But I can't talk about anything, and that's a weird way to go about this review. But for non-spoilers, you it's similar to Spiral. If I were to do a movie review for that one. You can't really talk about certain characters. You can't really talk about certain things. And you can't talk about the deaths of characters because that will limit your pool of suspects. And you don't want to limit your pool of suspects when you're going into a movie like this. And that's at the same time why when we get into a little bit of the spoiler section here, talking about past movies is just the same. If you have never seen the first screen movie, don't go watch this movie. Watch the original screen movie. And then go and watch it. Particularly, I would recommend watching 1 and 4. Um, those are the best screen movies, in my opinion. 2 and 3 really aren't all that good. They, they don't really reference 2, 3, or 4. They only really reference the first screen movie in this one. But watching the fourth one will definitely... Um, will definitely not hinder you i feel like they made certain things like the fourth one on purpose to kind of make you think and again i'm being very vague and i'm being very vague on purpose but that's okay i mean that's what that's what this franchise is about it's a whodunit and i love whodunits um i love this movie i really do i it's my most anticipated movie of january even before morbius got delayed I really, really, really like the Scream franchise. I really like it. Now, if I were to label it, I think I'd still put one and four above this one, and then it'd be this one, and then it would be two, and then it would be three. Probably in that order. Uh, the fourth one was really good. I have my particular reasons for disliking it, but I'd give this probably a four out of five stars, and... Like a 7 out of 10, whatever. 4 out of 5, 7 out of 10, whatever you prefer. Your star rating. Sorry, I'm yawning. It is 3.02 in the morning. <laughs> Watching horror movies late. Um, 
that's another thing. This movie's sorry. This movie's runtime is pretty long, if I am not mistaken. Let me let me look. Let me look. Um, screen runtime. So the first scream is an hour fifth. D one minute scream two is two hours and two minutes scream three is one hour and fifty six minutes and scream four is one hour and fifty one minutes so scream four is about the same length as the first one scream three is similar in length to the first one scream two is a little bit longer now let me look at scream five's runtime two hours on the dot one hour and fifty four minutes okay. It's not that long. I, I thought it would be longer. It's roughly about two hours. It felt a little longer. But I will say that this movie's runtime, I think they do a very good job of keeping everything in that runtime. Meaning you're you're enthralled throughout the entire film. Um, you are trying to figure out who it is through the entire film. And again, that's something that's missing from the movies nowadays are whodunits. Uh, I'm kind of glad that this movie is releasing when it is. It's honestly kind of nice. This movie is a movie that is a big movie, but it wouldn't get the biggest theaters. Like, this is going to be playing in Dolby Cinema. You know, if it had released a little bit earlier, or if Morbius had released... Sorry. Uh, we wouldn't be getting this movie in as big of theaters as we are going to get it in. And I know that some people don't think that bigger theaters necessarily equal a better experience. They're just like, whatever theater I can see it in is fine by me. I'm one of the people where the bigger theater, higher quality sound, not necessarily bigger screen, but higher quality um, in general is, it, it makes it more worthwhile. It makes the film better. But personally, Scream here um, this is a solid, solid movie. Now I'm going to go into some spoilers, so just be aware, I will not, again, I will not reveal the whodunits of this film, but I will reveal whodunits of previous ones, mainly the original, so if you have not seen the original, stop now, or if you don't care, you may continue, obviously, you can stop the video whenever you like, but anyway, um, the one, the one, one thing I really was upset about with this film is they did not bring back Stu from the first film um i was a real advocate uh, after seeing things like um the promotion which you're saying it's always somebody you know um mainly that one really got me intrigued and hopeful that we would see it but here's the thing we technically saw billy loomis and billy loomis is the original killer alongside Stu. Uh, I won't get into why that is part of the story, but we technically saw Billy Loomis. So they technically brought back the killer that was more confirmed de uh, dead. If that makes any sense, well, here's why. Billy Loomis in the first film was stabbed and shot, and he was confirmed dead, where Stu just got crushed by a TV. And we didn't get a confirm anything. Stu never came back for his second kill. Um, and that really upset me. I really wanted to, I really wanted to have, if they were going to have somebody back, I really wanted Stu back. Uh, Stu was played by Matthew Lillard, if you do not know, who is more known for playing Shaggy in the live action Scooby-Doo movies, and more recently, a bunch of animated, uh, <laughs> sorry, a bunch of animated Scooby-Doo movies. Which, I don't think Matthew Lillard has any projects going on re recently. Man. Lillard. Anything new for you, Matthew Lillard? Um, One Heart Multiverses, that's a game. Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, Robot Chicken. Yeah, no, nothing really new. He, did, he He's not doing a whole lot nowadays which is unfortunate i really really like him if you haven't checked out some of the movies he's in including scream i'd highly recommend it the two scooby-doo movies i highly recommend 
I uh, miss seeing him in movies. But it gets me really upset that we even saw a likeness to Billy Loomis and we only got a bare reference to Stu. Um, I feel like that's kind of not doing justice to the original film. And I feel like this real, this film really is a mixture of one and four. Um, I'm not going to go into why. If you've seen both, you'll understand. But I really do feel like this is a mixture of one and four. And there are aspects of both that, uh, I look at and I'm like, yeah, this definitely, definitely feels like those movies and even some of the characters obviously some of the characters are even from the first one um and the fourth one there was a character in particular who i did think was the killer in the end that really felt uh, like a character from the fourth film and yes i'm being vague there for two reasons one because i don't want to give away who the killer is and you want to look back at this and be like, oh, yeah, I knew that person was a killer right away from what you said. And two, because I'm kind of still getting names mixed up. There are a bunch of characters and a lot of them are new. So I am trying to, you know, get the characters squared away in my head as we, uh, as so to speak still. But that upsets me. I wish that Stu was in it more. I really do. Stu was is my favorite character. And, uh, I don't think they're doing him justice. And after Scoob, the Scoob movie, Matthew Lillard didn't get to play Shaggy, and now they just gave his character a bare reference. And it was really kind of like a one-off, like, we are kind of obligated here to mention him, since he was part of the original, for certain reasons. Um, I felt very forced in that sense, and they didn't really, they didn't really give him all that much in the movie. So, but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not going to go into too much else. Uh, I think this is a good spot to leave it off. I am not going to reveal who the killer is, but I did mention a little bit of spoilers. Otherwise, this movie is a fun, fun, it's a fun time. I don't, if you're a fan of the other ones, I think you'll like it, but I don't think you'll be extremely disappointed either. You might be a little bit. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Enjoyed. And I will see you in the next movie review. Video or movie review. Either or, you know. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. There's certain rules to surviving. Believe me, I know. They always come back. The killer is a part of something in the past. This one just feels different. You're all in danger. Mom? Where? Sydney. I've seen this movie before. Not this movie. You said we were going to finish this. Go finish it, Sydney. Scream. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Only in theater and special previews Thursday at 7 p.m. Get tickets now.